Hi everyone, today I'm reviewing a camera lens I've had a surprising amount of requests to look at. I have the Canon EF 400mm f5.6 USM L. It's designed for full frame or APS-C cameras. It's rather an old lens now, and it costs around £950 or US$1,300. For a nice quality telephoto lens, a lot of people will find that reasonable value for money which is perhaps why a lot of people are still interested in it today. Relatively affordable telephoto prime lenses like this are a bit of a dying breed these days, as most people prefer to use zoom lenses, so that's kind of taken over the market. This particular lens is tuck at 400mm. However, prime lenses can often be smaller than zoom lenses, and lighter, and more affordable, and they often have better image quality too. So there is still a real market out there for this kind of lens. 400mm is a very nice focal length for wildlife photography. You get much tighter shots of small animals and birds at 400mm than you will at 300 And the longer focal length is a little better for sports photography outdoors, framing your subjects nicely at a longer range of distances. I'd rather have a 400mm lens than a 300 any day, but that's just me. I like 400mm. However, this lens's maximum aperture of f5.6 means that it doesn't let in much light. That's okay if you're shooting on a bright sunny day, but at 400mm, if you're shooting handheld, you need really fast shutter speeds to get a sharp picture. So, if it's not such a bright day, then you'll have to resort to using a tripod with this lens or very high ISO levels on your camera. However, even though f5.6 is quite a dark aperture, you can still get quite out of focus backgrounds with this lens because 400mm is so telephoto. Very, very sadly, this lens does not have image stabilization. That would be an enormous help. As it is, the 400mm focal length and dark f5.6 aperture mean that this is not an easy lens to use handheld. You'll have to work it a bit to get sharp pictures. Anyway, let's look at the lens's build quality. It's a typical, lovely, all-metal Canon L lens. It's quite long and thin, feeling very tough and weighty on your camera, but it's certainly not too heavy to handhold for long periods of time. It's really quite a beautifully made piece of kit, and even includes a built-in lens hood for added convenience. The only thing missing is a weather sealing gasket on the lens mount, never mind. The focus ring is your typical Canon L lens full-time manual focus nice piece of engineering. It turns very smoothly and precisely. The lens's USM autofocus motor is lightning fast and very quiet indeed. Using it outside, I was delighted by how accurate the autofocus was. It seemed to nail focus every time. So, essentially, in terms of build quality, the lens is quite a beauty and it works fantastically well in any way. It's a pleasure to use, if only it had image stabilization. Anyway, let's look at image quality. As usual, I'll start by testing it on a full frame camera, a 20 megapixel Canon 6D. Chromatic aberration correction and peripheral illumination are turned on for this test. This is quite an old lens, so I wasn't sure what we might be up against, but frankly I'm astonished by its sharpness. We'll start at f5.6. As you can see, in the middle of the image, the lens is resolving a lot of detail. Let's look over into the corners. They are also fantastic. No image quality problems whatsoever. Stop the lens's aperture down to f8 for truly perfect picture quality from the corners and right back into the middle of the image. It stays sharp, even if you stop down further. Well, I've only tested a few 400mm lenses in my time, but this is easily the sharpest one of the lot. Certainly much sharper than Canon's original 100-400mm zoom lens, although I haven't tested the newer version yet. Let's see how the lens performs on the tougher playing field of an APS-C camera, in this case, my 20 megapixel Canon 70D. 
At f5.6, the picture quality is only good, being acceptably sharp in the middle of the image. The corners of the image are just okay. Nothing to write home about, but certainly not bad either. Stop down to f8 and there's a noticeable improvement, and we can see a fair bit more detail in those corners. Back in the middle, the lens is also quite sharp now. There's no further improvement if you stop the lens down anymore. At the end of the day, long telephoto lenses never seem to perform very well on APS-C cameras. This 400mm L lens doesn't perform great, but it's certainly not bad either. And if you stop it down to about f8, then it's certainly sharper than most other long telephoto lenses can perform. Well, let's take a look at distortion and vignetting on a full-frame camera. The good news is, there isn't any. No noticeable distortion, no noticeable vignetting, even from its maximum aperture of f5.6. I had to double check my camera to make sure I had turned off peripheral illumination for this test, and I had indeed done so. That is the best result I've ever seen from any camera lens. That lack of vignetting will be particularly useful for anyone shooting birds in flight, where dark corners can easily show up on the blue sky in the background. Excellent stuff. A weakness of this lens is that it can only focus as closely as about three and a half meters, which is really quite far away. It definitely won't be mistaken for a macro lens. The good news though is that, straight from f5.6, close-up image quality is extremely sharp. As you can see here, the lens definitely does not work well against bright lights, as you'd expect from an older telephoto lens. Make sure you use that lens hood. No excuses now, it is built in. Finally, bokeh. When you do get out of focus backgrounds, this lens gives you very nice, smooth bokeh with no weird highlighting or any other problems. That's important and good to see. Overall, I had a blast using this lens. Its dark aperture and lack of image stabilization can make it a little tricky to use. But when you do get your shot, this lens's legendary image quality and accurate autofocus will get you some wonderful results. It's also a nice size, as well as being well built and comparatively affordable. If you can handle its lack of image stabilization, then this lens certainly comes very highly recommended indeed.